So now they're going to give us um, another equation uh, for which we can use e to the a. So the problem here is this is not that useful when you're given data because this involves a. And a is just another constant that we don't know. This is just like a proportionality constant. This is not as interesting as the activation energy. This is just a proportionality constant. Well, if we don't know this, how are we going to be able to find the activation energy? Um, well, it turns out that if you take two rows of data, you don't need to know what this is. Um, yeah, in fact, should we actually go through that? So let's say we've got the natural log <coughs> k2 equals natural log of a minus e to the a for rt2. And we could have the natural log of k1 a minus e to the a over rt1. So um, now I'm just applying this to two different rows of data. We could look at what the rate constant is at one temperature, and then we could look at what the rate constant is for a different temperature. Um, and then we could put these two things uh, together. Remember, what we're trying to do here is figure out what the activation energy is. How can we use this to figure out what the activation energy is? Well, how can we combine these two equations and get rid of this term? You can subtract them. If we subtract these two equations, that'll get rid of this term. Uh, rather than subtracting, let's multiply this by negative one and then add. That's less confusing. So I'll multiply this by negative one, which will turn it into this. And now let's add these together. So if I add these together, I would get natural log of K2 minus natural log of K1. Now the natural log of A terms cancel. And over here we would have negative EA over R T2 plus EA. So I've subtracted, or I've multiplied by negative one and added, and these are the equations. So by using two different rows of data, we were able to get rid of this constant, which we didn't know. Again, our goal here is to figure out what the activation energy is. How can we simplify the left-hand side of this equation? So this is more good practice. And on the right-hand side, we can factor. Both of these terms have an, an EA and an R in them. So I can factor that out from both terms, and that gives me this equation. And if you, care, if you check carefully, you'll see that we got the signs right. This times this would give you a negative term here, and this times this would give us a positive term here. So we got the signs right. All right, this is a key equation that you'll probably need on the test for solving problems. This shows us that if you know the two temperatures and you know the two rate constants, you can find the activation energy. All right, uh, and again, we don't usually do proofs, but I thought this was good practice in practicing our natural log skills to see that this equation just comes from this. Notice that how much work we have to go, to go from here to here. First, we have to get rid of the E by taking natural logs, and then we subtract two equations. Well, since we subtracted them, we got a division. All right, you won't need to do this proof on the test, but it's good to see that this really just came from this simple Arrhenius equation.